In this video, we're going to go over how to protect the puck like Sidney Crosby. And uh, this is week two of the how to protect the puck like Sidney Crosby mechanics tutorial. And uh, we're going to break down his mechanics and give you guys a really great idea of how you can learn them and install them in your own game. Uh, my name is Jason Yee. I'm a former pro kinesiologist and the founder of Train 2.0. And I take a mechanical look at what the best players in the world are doing. And then I teach you those mechanics. And our view is that, um, you know, you can learn those mechanics yourself. It's just that it's, it's not commonly taught. And this is a six week tutorial. And in this week, we're in week two, we're going to talk about the outside edge, we're going to talk about something I call the outside edge hip wall, and that's this week's video. And if you missed last week's video, the 10 and 2 mechanic, which is your inside edge hip wall, that's last week's video. So I'm going to link to that and you can uh, watch that uh, as well. And the way this works is that I'm releasing these three, these first three um, live on YouTube and for free on YouTube. And then these last four are available in uh, something called the downhill skating system, which is a uh, system that teaches you the mechanics of NHLers and how to install them in your game. It's a systems of drills and videos. And um, you can put that together to massively improve your mechanics and transform your game. So we're going to take a look at the outside edge hip wall today. And then I'm going to give you some coaching on what to do next. And, you know, I love this clip here because we actually looked at it last week too with the 10 and 2, right? So we can actually see how everything fits together. So here's the 10 and 2 positioning. But now the next thing we're going to talk about is this frame right here and beyond, which is the outside edge hip wall. And a couple things to note is that this is something called, I call this the Y angle, and because it makes a Y shape on the ice like this, right? And um, here's the thing. If you get on your outside edge and you have good Y angle, it immediately improves your mechanical advantage. Uh, a big issue that I had personally as a player is I was very strong. I could deadlift a lot, squat a lot. But for some reason, when I was like picking up pucks and trying to puck protect, um, I would just get knocked or I'd get caught or I, I, I didn't, I was kind of flat footed. And when I actually ended up looking at my video, I would think I was on my outside edge, but my foot was actually here. It was actually straight up and down. And so this is a really common problem. Most players think they're on their outside edge, but they're actually flat. Their foot is totally flat like this. But as you can see with Crosby, he's routinely using his outside edge and let's look a bit further into the clip and you'll see, right? It's not just here that he's on his outside edge, right? And look how aggressively he's on his outside edge. Like this is pretty intense. And most players are simply not comfortable here. They think they're here, but they're not. And again, now look how much he's using his outside edge in this here. Now, what the really cool thing about the whole hip wall is or the outside edge hip wall is this part it immediately improves your mechanical advantage now it might look like Crosby's like and, and he's definitely a strong player in the gym but he's actually just chilling right here like he's this player is like a real big defenseman pushing on him and look at Crosby's like facial expression and look at how relaxed he is he has the ability to kind of like swivel his hips you can even kind of see he's kind of moving his rib cage his he has the wherewithal to move his hand he's got his head up right when you're seeing someone do a max squat or a max deadlift their face is scrunched up they can't move their hand they can't be focused on something else they're strictly doing a max squat but here you can actually see he's actually quite relaxed and aware and that's purely because of his outside edge positioning. So backing it up a bit, that really gives him a mechanical advantage because uh, basically the more that this guy pushes on him, that this defenseman pushes on him, the, the more that uh, Crosby can just keep on cruising around. And you can actually see it right here. There's multiple pushes 
and Crosby's still able to swivel around him. And that's all because of the outside edge hip wall. Now, what we're going to talk about here, and the main thing that's missing for players, is that most players think they're on their outside edge, but they're not. And what you need to do to actually change this for yourself and to adopt this new mechanic for yourself is to get awareness of your actual Y angle. So you need to get awareness of it before you can change it. And that's what the coaching is for this week, is to practice these three movements. The first one is a corkscrew to outside edge roll. So what that looks like is we're just breaking down what it's like to have good Y angle on your outside edge. Okay, and so what you're looking at here is just simply this angle of the skate here. And if we go back to uh, Crosby's clip here, we can see it's a very similar angle like here to, I'll go to my right side, left side. Now obviously he's a lefty and I'm a righty, but you can see there's my angle there like this and there's his angle. Oh, look at that, happens to be pretty much about the same. So again, the point of this first drill of just doing a corkscrew and then rolling over to your outside edge and you actually wanna articulate with your ankle on this. Um, and then the whole leg will follow. Um, the whole point of this is awareness, right? Once you get awareness, then you can make the change. The next one is something called a scooter. So this is just with one foot forward, and then you're just rolling from inside edge to outside edge, and then inside edge to outside edge. And again, what you're aiming for is awareness like this of your uh, Y angle. And again, here's that Y angle there. And then let's go to Crosby, right? And you can, again, see a very similar uh, Y angle right here. And this is a very similar movement. So we call this the scooter and you're just rolling from inside edge to outside edge on the front foot, okay? And then the next one is the shuffle. So in this movement, you're not actually doing any pushes. Uh, what you're actually doing is you're, sh is you're shifting your weight foot to foot. The thing that you don't necessarily see is that what we're after here is a really good uh, outside edge on the Y angle. And again, the idea is that you're shuffling foot to foot, you're not making any pushes, but you have awareness of your outside edge Y angle. And so what you wanna do with these three movements is you wanna do three workouts this week with those three movements. You wanna do three sets of 10 repetitions. So that means one shuffle would be one rep. And you wanna do three sets of that. And then you wanna film six reps and get video feedback. So get film six reps of each of those and then get video feedback. So you know if you're in the downhill skating system you can post that in the Facebook group and get uh, coaching and feedback on that. Uh, if not, you want to film it and just look at it yourself or look it over with a coach or someone who, you know, knows movement really well. And that's your coaching this week. So, you know, if you haven't yet started with the downhill skating system, I prepared a free training for you to intro you to that. Um, and you can click the link to get started. Otherwise, we'll see you in part three where we're going to talk about... Uh, the wide puck protect and this is going to be um, part of your key to making great plays under pressure. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.